Alright everyone, I have steps 1 through 6 done on the Honda. The suspension's done, I just need to touch up the paint in a few places. I'm going to let that sit overnight before I touch it up. Rear suspension's done, again I need to touch up some paint. Engine is done. So what I'm going to turn my focus to now, the body got clear coated. In another 20 minutes I'm going to clear coat it again. I'm going to give that thing like four, three or four coats before I polish it. Just build up the clear coat. Slowly and surely. Okay? Once that's done, I've got to do some masking and painting on the body. Alright? Um, what I have left, and I'm going to do some of this tonight, is the clear parts. These haven't been touched yet. Okay? And one thing about these clear parts... You see it, it even has the defroster lines molded into this thing. Okay? These things, two, um, the windshield and the sunroof are going to get future dip tonight and left to sit and to dry overnight. Okay? I got to make sure they're clean first. And I'm going to give them a wipe down with some alcohol and a soft drag before they get that. This part right here. It's going to be the challenge part, okay? This part and these curved parts across here, because they've got some color painting that needs to be done on them. So I got to get out the clears and start clear coating and masking, which is going to be a ton of fun because, well, it is. And I'm going to paint the underside where these go on. I can't do that with these two. I'll have to have Brett hand paint those two, but the this one I can paint the underside with Alclac Chrome and give it a nice reflective surface underneath there so it looks good. It's supposed to be chrome in the center from what I read in the directions, which are over here. Let's take a look at them real quick. Been reading them a lot lately because I want to get this done. Step 15 is to paint these things. So when I'm done, I've done step 15. Well, half of 15. Okay. Um, yeah, there's a diagonal pattern to the clear orange and the clear red. The orange runs in a diagonal across there. Okay. And... Oh, I get it. There's only a line across here that's supposed to be chrome. Eh, very interesting. I think I'm going to skip that. But there's a line running down the center of it that's supposed to be chromed. And I could easily tape that and do that. That's not an issue. But I'm, I'm thinking someone who's had this car for a while probably would have removed that chrome and black painted it or something. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Because if it was me, I would do that. I wouldn't leave it stock. But then again, it could be some old guy who kept it in his garage. I'm going to be honest with you guys, this was not my original intent with this car. My original intent with this car, honestly, was to stick a dragon on the front of it. You saw the future flat base experiments where it frosted. I don't know how many old Hondas I've seen with frosted paint around the outside where the sun has just destroyed the paint. And it's around the edges of the hood and around the trunk. That's what those experiments were for. I replicated that look very well with that future and that flat base. I was going to stick a plywood fin on the back. In other words, I was going to make fun of a rice car. Okay. And everything just shifted directions on me as I was building it. It's kind of like someone above did not want me to build a rice car out of this Honda. They wanted a Honda built. So I'm building a Honda now. Okay. So I may chrome that strip. I may not. It wouldn't be that hard because it's a nice straight line and it's well detailed on either side of it. Just some tape, cutting, and peeling. And that's all it would take to do that. But I'm going to uh, paint the underside of it the proper colors. And this strip right here is supposed to be black. I'm just going to heavily smoke it is what I'm going to do. So... I'm going to get out the Tamiya clears and start painting. I'm going to future dip these parts. I'm going to leave one sprue attachment so I have a handle for it while I'm working with it. 
which I think would be the easiest thing to do, especially with this. I'm going to leave, I'm basically going to cut it here and here and leave me a handle. Because this needs to hang and drip dry while it's drying from the future dip. So let me clean these, get a container out, fill it with future, dip them, place them on some paper towels, and put them in another sealed container. And I have plenty of sealed containers I can do that with. I also have to build a stand to hold this while it's drying because I want it to dry vertically so that the future does not pool and set up in some spots. Because I don't want to strip it and redo it. I'm also thinking, no, this one's good enough. I can, I'm going to do a lot of painting on it so it doesn't matter. So let me get on this. Be back in a bit. All right, everyone. I tried an experiment. Um, I don't know if you remember, but I had a card I polished. And I polished it so hard, I got under the clear coat. Just polished the clear coat right off. Well, what I did is I put another clear coat on top of it and polished it again. That's this card right here. You can see the reflection of the monitor on the side of my camcorder. Okay? There's the LED light over the top of the room. Oh yeah, that gave a beautiful finish. So, this is what you can do. You can put your red coat down. This red coat is Tamiya XF7. It's a little brightly lit, but it is this Tamiya XF7. It's a flat, flat red coat. Clear coat, polish, wipe it down with water to get the polish off. Clear coat again, polish again. You're just going to end up with something that's very, very reflective. I mean, that is reflecting the screen off the camcorder. Okay? Let's see. Here's the compound. You can see the compound box is reflecting in it. Okay? It's kind of hard because of the way the lighting is in this room. You can see it, though, right there. So it, it's a nice, nice finish. Okay? So I duplicated the finish I had using the lacquer paints without the fussiness of those lacquer paints. This is smooth. This is dry. It's cured. Look, I'm bending it. It's not cracking or flaking. Okay, I'll be there in a second, BB. All right, it's story time for BB. So I'm going to go read Miss BB a story, right? She's got her PJs on. I was just making the short little video clip while she was getting ready for bed. I will see you guys tomorrow. It is the end of Monday. Just so you know where I'm on the contest. I have Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Four days left. All right, everyone. We're going to talk Oops, about future. I took my parts and dunked them in future. I cleared them up quite a bit. But there's a scratch on this one. And... The future didn't quite get that scratch. So I may dunk this one again. There's no real dirt or anything in it. The future did its job there. Let's look at the... Ooh, it glued to the paper towel. Future can be used as glue, by the way. This came out very nice. It's very clean, very clear. I like the end result of the future dunk on this one. I, except for one spot, I don't know if you can see it, I can, right, yeah, you can see it right there, there was an excessive buildup of future right there, the remedy is to dunk it in future again, that's the remedy, I can put it in some alcohol to strip the future, I'm going to try just dunking it one more time for both parts, and seeing if that works, now the key here is that your part has to touch the paper towel, so the paper towel can wick off the future that's in excess. And that corner wasn't touching the paper towel. So let me get back to it. I'll be back in a bit. All right, everyone. First round of clear coat and polish is done. All right. And you can see I got a pretty good shine on this. I'm about to um, give it a second round of clear coating. And then after that second round of clear coating, we're going to polish again. Double, don't <laughs> the two cats are having a little throwdown downstairs. All right. So she's going to get a second round of clear coating and polishing. I found that that really brings out the clarity. But before I do that, I'm going to mask off 
and paint the black areas that need to be black. Now one thing about this polish is you've got to remove it before you put down a layer of paint. And to remove it, you use some water, just plain old water. I'm using some filtered drinking water so that I don't leave any residual from the water behind on the surface of the model. Because that can also help lift your paint back up off there. I'm also making sure I've got all the polish out of the grooves. Because polishes in the grooves, BB wants a video bomb. Again, I think that's her life story, has tried to video bomb my videos, right, BB? No, I'm trying to say hi. Okay, well, say hi. There's nothing wrong with you video bombing. Yeah, she's sitting right next to me. I put her chair next to me. She's home from school today. I'm going to work on this. We're going to give her craft projects to do while I'm working on this. She's going to do more painting, right? I want to finish Santa. You want to finish Santa? Yes. Okay, we'll see if we can do that today. But there's the car body. I'm going to mask and tape. One thing, I was a little rough on it while I was polishing. And you can't see it. You can see it under here. It cracked all the way across there. I glued it. It's holding pretty good, but it's going to be fragile. You can't see it from the top. You'll never see it from that angle because that's where the car body is going to be. Okay. So we're good. You can see yourself on it. Yeah, you can see yourself in this, BB. And I'm going to make that even shinier. Okay? So you can see your whole thing. Exactly. Well, anyhow, everyone, i got to go. i got to get painting Bye. and masking. Bye, All right, everyone. <coughs> wow. I did the detail painting on the car body. I'm going to pull the tape and see how it came out. Hopefully it didn't mess up because I used the wrong gloss black paint. I should use the Tamiya paint instead of an enamel paint. But that's okay. And I'll show you the end result of pulling that off. This has got to sit overnight and then I'm going to apply another clear coat to it. So back in a bit.